Alright, so, hey everyone. So, first off, I want to shout out two people. So, first person I'm shouting out is uh, Blake Thompson. Blake, throughout the years, you have been an amazing guy. You've been so supportive. Every time I see you at a comp, you're always so cheerful. You're like one of the most cheerful guys I know. And Blake Thompson is awesome, and everyone should follow him. He's really fast, and he's really cool. And he gave me the idea for this. He was like, why doesn't this a thing? So then I was like, there's no reason this shouldn't be a thing. Give me like a week. It turned out like to be really tough, but I did it. So second shout out is Jeremy Fleischman, JFly. So if you're part of WCA or you know about JFly, he's been a legend throughout the years. Like back in ancient times, he was like one of the fastest OH solvers in the world. And without him, there would be no WCA. If I had to attribute anything to anyone being the biggest impact in cubing, it would be Jeremy Fleischman. Have you looked at the Q, the code for T-Noodle? Like, I don't have it up. I could probably pull it up. But did you know T-Noodle is like 22 or 24,000 lines of code? And that's only the main Jav JavaScript file? Like, T-Noodle itself took years to make. And like, there are so many things in T-Noodle. There are so many features and so many small parts. The nuances are ridiculous. All of the software that JFly has written for the WCA, if you look through, and I barely understand some of this stuff, but I I wanted to use it for the thing today. It's remarkable. WCA would not be where it is without such a talented and brilliant guy like JFly, who's willing to put all this work. Like, if it wasn't for JFly putting in all this work, WCA would not exist at all. Um, and he helped me, like, he pointed me, he was like, hey, there's a demo of Tween Noodle on the WCA things, run it this way. And I looked at it, and it actually helped run this code today. With that out of the way, uh, well, one more disclaimer, one more. So, like, two days ago, for more clarification, I just got back into college, like, last year. Like, not even a whole year ago, like, last fall and I did take it from the freshman level like my transfer credits didn't count because the computer science classes I took in Python at my first school didn't count at my second school so I had to retake computer science from the very beginning now what have I learned nothing but I'm coming in as a freshman and I've only taken a class on Java well it was a two-part class so I'd never done JavaScript in my life. Two days ago, I had no idea what HTML and JavaScript was. But I was just so determined to get this project out of the way so that I could do my other projects. Um, speaking of other projects, um, I have like a bunch of c engraved caps, but they're not like finished. They need to be cleaned up a little bit. Like there's a lot of caps that I have that are already done because I can just run the machine. Engraved caps are probably going to be on the store in about two weeks, maybe less. I have to ship them up there after I finish them, and it has. I have to optimize the process some more for scaling it, but it scales pretty well. Um, anyways, so what am I working on? It's a scramble utility um, for competition people. So organizers and delegates, scramblers. This is gonna be a tool that's gonna tr hopefully help help you out. So. There were a few features I wanted. I had to cancel one of the features because it's too risky. So let's go through all the features. So Blake at the competition Great Lakes, which was a great comp by the way, except for one thing. Uh, well, two things. There are two really annoying things um, that really sucked and made the competition not so fun. But it was a really great comp. Um, but Blake said to me as we were scrambling 5 of 5 together, I wish there was a way to check mid-scramble that I did it right or wrong. So like, if I'm mid-scramble, I can click on the thing and it'll tell me where I'm at. And I said to myself, why doesn't that exist? You could make that possible. I could make that possible for any puzzle. Any puzzle. I, I'm going to do it all. And then I was like, well, there's a lot of problems right now. If you're scrambling on the computer in the PDF, you have to zoom in and then sometimes things 
if you could have a 4K monitor and that PDF is still vertical and you could zoom in and out and it won't resize, well, why? Let's just make it resize. Whatever we want to make possible in the world, let's just make it possible ourselves. If we just sit down and just do it and learn all the steps to do it. Um, that's another thing. And the third thing I really wanted to do is uh, to have it upload the JSON. Well, all competitions have a JSON file. The delegate has this file, and it contains all the information. What if they just upload that, and then in the website, you have a special URL and a password, and you can link a person the URL with the password, and they could get the scrambles. So the scrambler doesn't have to like continually get the, through email, flash drives, messenger things. It's a hassle, and sometimes it gets messed up. And when scrambles get mixed up, you can have a competition get most of its results wiped out. That actually happened like last month or like two months ago. There are so many issues with scrambles that can be fixed with software and like our brains. Um, obviously we can't have a server, an external server having all of this sensitive information and someone could like leak the URL and the password so obviously that's a big liability so I decided to handle everything on the front end. So you, this only works if you have the JSON which you can only get from the delegate. Um, but that's not a big deal. All the other functions work and I'm gonna show you right now so over the past two days um, so this I have a vertical monitor this is my code that I wrote I use sublime text and it's a lot of redundancies because I'm not that good of a programmer um, but this has all the functions to do all the puzzles so let's pull up I'll put my face into the corner Ooh, wrong one XSplit does not have a control Z. Alright, I'm gonna go in the corner. Um, that's my code. Let's uh, let's look at this. So I call this simple viewer. Or simple viewer. I, I don't know how to enunciate it because I just invented it. So um, I'm gonna have the URL in the bottom in the description. Basically, um, that's this. Now let, let, me, uh, let me pull up what scrambles usually look like. So you see I have a decent monitor, it's not nothing too special but this is what the scrambles look like normally. Um, they, they're they vertical and you have to scroll down and I'm, you can zoom out but then um, for certain puzzles it's uh, weird if you zoom out. Um, there's still some issues with my thing too um, that I still have to fix. This is a work in progress. I only just got it to work like five minutes ago. So this is what scrambles look like um, normally. Now let me show you what it looks like on Simple Viewer. So with Simple Viewer, you uh, click here, you open up the JSON, and you load it. And this has all the information for all the things. So let's uh, pull up the other one. So here, you have to like scroll up and down, or you can like open the folder and look for the thing. Um, or in Simple Viewer, instead of doing all of that you can just click this thing right here and when you click this oh it's not showing up so on my screen it shows the window it's like a it's like this as you see I move I'm moving my mouse up and down but it's not showing on the recording software um, anyways you can trust me so let's see I wanted to do square one if I want to do square one, I scroll up to square one and it loads square one. And it has the images, the same one from the scramble and the sequence. But the cool thing is, um, well, I, I'm going to, I'm going to try, okay, so I'm going to put them side by side. Um, okay, side by side. So, this is, on the left side you'll see the normal PDF. You can zoom in and it's like that. Um, so fully zoomed in, you can see three scrambles. From here, 
you can the thing actually like resizes so you can see all five on one window because it's resizing horizontally instead of being fixed ver fixed space horizontally it resizes the the text so you can scroll in and it'll pack itself differently so as you scroll out you can see everything um, there we go so you can see every scramble but for here to see every scramble you have to scroll out like this um, and it doesn't resize um, as you can see on the left to see all the scrambles you have to look at it like this I'm gonna give it the benefit of there we go but on easy viewer or simple viewer it resizes and like that so you see the image is still small um, making the image bigger would stretch it um, so I still have to figure that out there's gotta be a solution but that's for square one so let's see let's uh, let's change it to let's see what big cubes look like so seven by seven um, I'm gonna load seven by seven up um, so as you can see here hypothetically I could have all of the scrambles up so here it says undefined I still have to get a creative way to put the extra scrambles there which isn't too hard I could probably do that in a day but I have other stuff to work on um, but here let's search 7x7 seven seven. and there so you you can see 7x7 seven seven, um, like that it, they're similar so the effect isn't such a big deal but the horizontal shifting of it once I can get it to work it's gonna be nice now let's go to an event where um, oh, I want to demonstrate there's clock too I have all the pictures because I implemented the tea noodle image thing um, but uh, let's go to 5x5 five five. so the thing about scrambling 5x5 five five is you have to get it accurate um, as a delegate you have to make sure that this is correct if it's not correct then you're not doing your job as a scrambler you should be doing the same thing so for 5x5 five five, um, this is what it's like to get all the scrambles on the page for there and that's what these that's just a comp comparison so let's say I did the scramble all the way to F and then someone distracts me and I don't know if that's correct or not so I'm gonna zoom in here I'll take that sequence copy and paste it and I'll put it into here check scramble sequence and I'll load it and then there is an image of where that scramble is at that state so you can know if you've done it right halfway through or not um, now let's try that with uh, let's try that with the weird let's try that with squeb maybe that's too easy because skew is has such short scrambles but I can copy and paste skew into here and it'll load an image of the skew with this sequence um, let me do one more just to be sure with the puzzle that we can visualize so three by three round one group a so um, three moves we can visualize three moves in our head put it in there boom just like that and that is like the WC orientation it shows you so that you can check to see if it's wrong or correct I mean, yeah yeah wrong or correct right or wrong so yep that's simple viewer I'm gonna be adding new features such as like trying to figure out how to make this this cube on the side better um, I wanna make it so that when you load up a big cube so like six by six anything that's a mean of three I wanna make it so that when you resize oh four and five get populated so that you can like zoom in and see all of them um, but yeah it's a work in pro Ooh, you can actually do that right now and it would just be so much better if I could get four and five in there so it reduces the time scrolling up and down because with the sometimes with the PDF you have to scroll up and down so yep with simple viewer just to summarize you don't have to click through folders you can just click the thing in the beginning to like change the puzzles and everything everything is it's all listed there if you can see the camera at the top everything is there 
Um, you can check your scramble, and it resizes horizontally so it views better. Um, and yep, that's it. Uh, the link's in the bottom. I'll be working on some other stuff. And uh, yep, see y'all in the next video. Software is fun, kids. Do computers and engineering. Those are like really, really good jobs.